Hey, hello guys welcome back to my tutorial series so today we're gonna go over node referencing so this is when you want to get communication between nodes so for example here we have a parent this is the main node for the scene then a child one child two and child one's grandchild well the parents grandchilds grandchildren it should be these grandchilds here so let's start with a script attached to the parent node if you want to get the child one for example there's multiple ways to do it so first we could use get node and this gives us all the nodes that it recognizes in the scene could say child one and we could print that out print its name for example sprint child one's name and we could run there you go child one you want to get its grandchild you could add a slash here and then grandchild it's already highlighting it and print again grandchild instead of these we could use dollar sign and we could say child one same difference and then grandchild if there's a space between any of the names for example if i come here and use a space there this wouldn't work, so you would have to put these in cross the V's. And now it would work. There you go, grandchild. Now, let's add a script to the child node. Okay, now we have a script connected to child one. So if you want the parent, we could use get parent. So parent equals get parent. And that returns the parent, the immediate parent of that current node. So let's see print parent that name. That prints parent name. Not sure what's printing there, but oh that's the grandchild. Let's add this for now. There you go, parent. And then when you're on the child, you want to get the sibling. Go back here. If you want to get the sibling, you could say get parent, but get child or get node and child two. Prints child two. Now instead of doing this, you could use the dollar sign again, but this time you need to do two dots. So the first dot represents itself, second dot represents the immediate parent. Let's print that. There you go. So parent. And then we could see slash uh, child2 for the sibling. There you go. Now let's go a step further. Let's go down to grandchild, attach the script. Okay, so now we're in the grandchild of child one. So to get the parent of the scene, easiest way to do this is save our grandparent equals to get parent dot get parent. So we're getting this parent's parent, which be main node for the scene. And let's print that out. All right, there you go, parent. And this is the same as using four dots, but in with a slash in between. So go here and dot dot slash dot dot. There you go. Same result. Now, if you want to get the grandchild's uncle, for example, let's see where this goes here. They're getting the parent. They're getting the root node, which is the parent, and then we could see slash child two and run again there you go get child two all right now since these are all connected for example let's use a uh, parent go back here and create a function functions could be accessed just the same so let's use random number for example uh get random number return and i modulo let's use ten thousand now and here move this get random number and that should give us something there you go 6588 all right that should be it so these works well and all but most of you guys i think it's a bit tedious so as of god 4 we have a new thing called unique names for example we could go on one of these nodes and we could right click and then access as unique name this allows you to whatever node is uh, called grandchild here, which is this one, since you're going to access it using the modulo sign, 
it will pretty much return this node. So for example, we can have two names the same here. So if I try to make this a unique name, we'll get this error. So we could probably call this one child two, for example, grandchild two. And now we could set this as a unique name. So this is called grandchild and this is called grandchild two. So over here, we could now use, let's just call this node for now. We could say, um, what are we on? We on first grandchild. So now we use the present sign. We could just say grandchild. And now we don't have this anymore. So let's say node dot name. And that should just work. There you go. And we're already on this one, so wouldn't work. So like and subscribe and come for the next tutorial. Have a good one, guys.